What's up everybody, Steven C. Killer here. It's time for a new reaction video. But before that, 75% of you guys watching are not subscribed. Now recently, I was able to obtain the silver play button because we hit 100,000 subscribers. Now I'm pushing myself forward even further. We're going for 300,000 subscribers. We can't hit this goal if you're not part of this community, so hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Join the Discord so you don't miss out on any of my videos when I go live on Twitch, live on YouTube, or I upload a video. Links in the description. Don't forget, I do want to upgrade from silver to gold at one point. So help me out today and hit that subscribe button. Now, let's get into the video. What's up everybody? Steven Zekiel here bringing another reaction. Now today, we're checking out some awesome Dragon Ball animation. Now this is a fan-made animated trailer for an upcoming fight. And it's also something that hasn't been animated, but is in the manga. It's Ultra Ego Vegeta versus Granola. And today, we're checking this out. Now, guys, do me a favor. Animation is super difficult to produce. So, by all means, please make sure to go down below in the description. Show your support by liking and subscribing to the original channel. Now, this video was actually recommended to me by a friend, uh, also a fellow animator, who's here with me today. This is a first-ever collab animator. Uh, being part of my video. So introduce yourself Yo, uh, it's blue animation here. Uh, I'm the guy who did the Dragon Ball Super Superhero fan animation project um, And yeah, I'm looking forward to watching this with you, bro. I'm really looking forward to your reaction to it Hell yeah, I appreciate that man. You brought this to me and I you know me I'm always into Dragon Ball stuff Especially the one most one of the most recent ones I watched was your part one of Dragon Ball Super Superhero fan-made animated movie and i'm so looking forward to part two whenever that drops but you know what like i always say take as much time as that there's no rush on that <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah uh there's gonna be some info soon maybe i'll talk about it later on all right all right stay tuned for that info we're gonna check out this video and then we'll probably dive in a little bit on a second watch with blue animation so let's get into this and enjoy it right now Ooh, the animation looks good. Off the bat. Oh! Whoa! Okay! Okay, what the hell? Ooh, the shading on Vegeta's hair. That looks so good. Oh. Yo, the aura. Oh, is this it? Oh! <laughs> All the different angles looking so sweet! Perspective, that was nice. Oh, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that was such a creepy, echoey laugh. I thought it was you for a second. <laughs> 
I'm the, I thought it was no, you in the background no, no, laughing. No, man. I'm muted. I'm muted, bro. <laughs> Dude, Vegeta looks creepy like that, but it, I, I love this animation. Holy crap. <laughs> okay, here we go. The beginning scenes. Take as long as you need. It doesn't matter how long it takes. Yes, and support. Oh, wait. I thought we were going to get a little bit of something. Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah. Uh, basically, he uh, was only uh, showing, you know, the the beginning part in this trailer. And oh, he that's said... A, I, I, I'm hooked, line, and sinker. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to whatever this drops. Yeah. That was enough for me. The animation... <laughs> no wonder it's so good he, he did a lot more like he said that he basically didn't show anything there is a lot more to look forward to and he does have another trailer where you can actually see ultra ego um i don't know if you want to watch that but yeah uh, uh i can hop is... over let me go let me go uh to another tab so we can go to his channel once again guys show your support Honestly, help this guy get up to two, uh, 20,000 subscribers. He definitely deserves it. If you guys haven't, go like and subscribe, please. Uh, I'm assuming it's the 55-second one right here? I'm assuming that is the case, yeah. I, I think that is the case, yeah. Yeah, teaser ta trailer. Let's check this one out, too. <laughs> The movement, the way he animates the movement is so good. Just that fly, like the amount of like layers and how many different frames he's adding to the flying and the moving of everything. Oh my God, that's so good. Oh, we gotta see the boy. Oh, <laughs> let's go, kid. let's fucking go. That looks so good. That looks so good. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, that's hype. That is hype. All right, oh. yeah. I think there was one more thing, but you might, it's up to you, but you might want to watch I think it I'll when, hold... when the full thing is out. Yeah, I, I don't like to, I, I'll hold back on any more watches. I'll watch the whole thing once it's available. Yeah, uh, I, I think recommend I got you enough. doing that. Yeah. Uh, just the fact that we got what we did in this one. Let's see, where's that scene where we got a good close up on Vegeta? It's right here. Just that smirk. That's so good. That smirk. <laughs> let's fucking go. <laughs> it looks so yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, his style is definitely unique. And that's what I, I, maybe you can even see my comment. I don't know. But. What like he? Uh, I think it was this trailer or another one that stood out to me, and uh, like th that basically got recommended. Uh, I think it was the I think it was the first trailer, like the the very first of his project. But uh, I was mm -hmm. saying yeah. like the, it, his style is really unique, and it's like if you compare it to other Dragon Ball fan animations, you can tell that he's very like he's experimenting. You can tell he's experimenting with angles, experimenting with. Uh, you know expressions like and, the way like all yeah. this movement and stuff right here like the way he has the wall like, they battle over a, a little pawn area so the details and everything the the angles he's using like just that right there doing a like I, I i'm not an animator myself but i appreciate everything that goes into animation i've watched so many so many different animations and i know how different type of styles and how much work this type of animating work where you're doing multiple of the same frames but they're like you're going out a way to do a flip like that that's not easy to do and where it looks super cohesive it's really well yeah. done 
Like he... It's funny. It's funny that you pause on this frame because that's actually a frame I helped him with a little bit. Uh, oh, the, the <laughs> no, one he flipped or uh, this, this frame one, itself? This, this one right there. I, I think it was like sending it to me asking, you know, like for, uh, you know, tips and stuff. And I was telling him to blur with, like, the, the, aura, the lines. Aura and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the nice. aura, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it, 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 like that's why also like kind of why I'm here as well. I can talk a little bit because uh, he is actually also part of my project uh which is awesome and uh i was actually contacting him because he stood out to me and i was asking him like yo do you need help like i i am impressed by your work and um i could do a scene for you if you want to and um unfortunately unfortunately for this part it's too late but i might help him with the next part if there's one but uh yeah definitely uh there like one of the things that stood out to me when I when I watched it is just like the expressions and and the aura and the the, 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 yeah. the way he he animates effects and the angles and he 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 definitely doesn't go the safe route with like you you know how many fan animations are like still frames and stuff like that still and, frames with slight movement uh, yeah, uh, like yeah, they're yeah. really big images that just pan and whatnot sometimes yeah. just to save a little bit on animation time. But yeah. that's that. It's reasonable because animation is not easy, and sometimes it's just a little bit of a time saver. But when yeah. you see those animators that go the full length of like almost so many frames, it's it's unbelievable. This is like one of those moments. Yeah, he like he he he's definitely one of those who put a lot, and when I say a lot, I mean a lot of work into his project, and um, he is working on it. Like uh, like I I'm seeing stuff, you know, and. He is working on it really hard, and uh, it might get delayed due to technical issues. But trust I'd rather me, the, the animation the come out perfectly the way the yeah. animator wants than him to feel like he has to rush and get it out on it. Yeah, like even though he t if, if he if he set a time, it's his choice to push it back. He needs yeah. it needs to come out to the mo the the peak that makes him happy. It's his project. It's it. It's it's his. It's, it's, it's his animation baby, basically. Yeah, yeah. And that is a thing that I also, like, uh, want people to respect about fan projects. Uh, like, as I said, it might get delayed, but the wait will be worth it. And people, like, uh, when people are like, oh, where is the part, blah, blah, blah. It's like, you're kind of, like, stressing the person out, and it's not really helping. Just wait, and trust me, when it's there, it's, it's just going to be worth the wait. Trust me with that. Uh, mm -hmm. so, so yeah, and, um, yeah, God, the way, just, he, the way this, he drew, this shot, that this shot, shot right there, yeah, yeah. oh my you know, God, you know what's funny, you know what's funny, not, not gonna uh, lie, this might be the sh one of the, sh I might take a, a, the screenshot from the other trailer of him all in Ultra Ego and this shot and make that part of my thumbnail, <laughs> I'm not gonna yeah, lie, it's a, it's, a good, <laughs> it's a good thumbnail, it's a good thumbnail, uh, do you know where that, ref uh, where that is, uh, reference from? No, is, is that a reference from another anime or something? Yeah, uh, it's from, I think it was Jujutsu Kaisen. Uh, I've actually never watched that anime. I've never oh, seen it. Oh, okay, okay. I have okay. yet to, I know a lot of, I know season two or something like that's going on right now as of like yeah. seasonal wise. And people have been asking me to check out season one. And I know there was like a really popular movie that dropped last year or something, or maybe even more than a year ago. Uh, I've been meaning to check that one out, but it makes sense that I wasn't uh, I wasn't going to catch this one because of the fact that I haven't seen it. But yeah. it's definitely uh, I love the I, I I wish I wish Super had blood. I know it's not we're never going to get this type of blood in Super, but it definitely <laughs> it definitely adds so much when it comes to fan animations. This is so good. Yeah, it, it definitely adds uh, you know like uh, how how dramatic this is. It's like kind of like imagine the blood would be gone and there's just scratch and it wouldn't feel as serious and as epic, you know. So no. the blood definitely makes it like it kind of looks like a psycho. That's kind of the cool <laughs> thing. That's kind of that when he does that psychotic laugh of enjoyment, even though he's in a lot of pain. It's just like, oh, that that that's a side of Vegeta we haven't seen or uh, or heard in a long time. This is kind of giving me vibes of like, like I, I, it's not the, of course the same Vegeta, but it's giving me very similar like I I I'm enjoying the the fierce extreme battle like. Early Z Vegeta, early like, Saiyan Saga, Namek Saga cool, Vegeta. Yeah. That was definitely a, uh, my one of my favorite Vegetas. Just just the one who's 
let's just say the true fighter. <laughs> the, the Majin one Vegeta, was... also. Majin yeah, Vegeta. Yeah. 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 One of the things that people love the most about Vegeta was the Majin side of him. Definitely, when he, yeah. When he let full on battle hungry side of him out. Yeah. One thing that I don't know if you uh, noticed, but um, he uses 3D backgrounds on some points. Uh, I did notice a little bit, but I wasn't 100 percent as it was like moving. I wasn't so sure. Is there a scene you want me to go to? Like, a time I, I think it was uh, more at the beginning. I think when they're like flying around and stuff. Uh, I don't know exactly where. Here, we'll just go through the video. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, like here, the here, here, like here. the mountains the, and stuff. Yeah, those are 3D. And the cool thing is that he is actually he did 3D. Uh, like he did 3D modeling and I don't know about animation, but definitely like 3D modeling. He did that before he started 2D. So because I did notice the the water did look like kind of like the sky. I'm assuming the the 3D mountains have like a blur of flat, uh, effect to make it less noticeable, and that's why, or something like that. I'm, yeah, that's but, what I, I could see from. Yeah, and and uh, that's like it. It was funny because he was already in my project doing a TD, uh, 2D scene, uh, mm -hmm. and then I was like noticing like, yo, bro. I uh, I feel like you've already done 3D before. Let me check out your trailer again. And then I, I saw it and I was like, yo, you can you do 3D? And I was like, yeah. And I was like, hey, can you do 3D for my project as well? And he was like, yeah. So right now, uh, he's actually working on a 3D background for part two of my project as well, which is that really is awesome. Like... That is like, I, I'm telling you, a 3D background does make a huge difference. Obviously, you can use 2D painted backgrounds for anime, mm -hmm. that's how it used most of the times. But when people are flying around and there's a 3D background where you can move the camera around with, without it being a 2D image, it makes it a lot more dynamic. And mm -hmm. that makes it just so much more fun to watch. If you think about Dragon Ball Super Broly, it had that. It like When, when, when people were flying around and, and stuff like that, sometimes it was a 3D background. It just made it so fun to watch. And in general, if fan, when fan anima animations does uh, do that which not many do it does have a movie feel when there's a 3d background because it just it, it just looks a lot more professional and oh yeah uh, yeah and and that is just something that i wanted for my project as well and just coincidentally he does it you know yeah, <laughs> and I was that's like, awesome. hey, yo. so yeah that was really cool that's awesome that you made that connection and everything so well I'm looking forward to this project. This is going to be a big must watch. I will be looking forward to it whenever. Uh, like I said, always guys, show your support. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. I'm actually going to turn on the notification bell. Don't forget to do that as well. Also, I'll be leaving the link for Blue Animation down below in the description as well. So if you guys enjoy this type of commentary and everything like that, check out Blue Animation's channel too. Anything else you want to talk about for your channel, buddy? Uh, I mean, all I can say is uh, look forward to the teaser for part two very soon. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, I'll be looking forward to that. And guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Join the description. Uh, join the Discord. Link in the description. If you have any suggestions animation-wise, you know what to do. Comment down below or post it in the reaction ideas section. Subscribe to my channel as well. Look out for more videos. And until next time, thanks for watching and later.